All right, using an executive order to bypass a reluctant Congress, President Obama has extended an existing plan to help all college loan holders. It limits their payments to no more than 10% of their income. Now, a law back in 2010 gave the same relief to students who took out loans after 2007. The president's executive order covers another 5 million people. He also threw his support behind a more sweeping Senate bill targeting the issue, but that bill proposed by Elizabeth Warren was blocked by Senate Republicans. So would the bill really help lower costs or are Democrats playing politics? That's our topic this half hour and we want to hear from you. You can share your thoughts on Facebook and on Twitter. Joining us live in the newsroom is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst Mustafa Tamiz, and public policy analyst Jackie Bally. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right, playing politics or helping the people, what do you guys think? Politicians playing politics. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> shocking. Who, who would have known? Who would have guessed? <laughs> you know, the, the, the issue is, and, and I was just doing some research here this morning and over the weekend about uh, the, what we're calling the student loan debt crisis, and Forbes magazine and some of the other uh, uh, pundits uh, looking at financial issues are saying that while there's a lot of money, it's not necessarily a crisis today, but that eventually it will hurt our ability in the short run uh, for our economy to improve if we don't do something. But that doesn't necessarily mean we have to do something today. But having had a student loan, Jackie Ballin, taking 15 years to pay that off, I, I can uh, appreciate the young peoples uh, who have the much greater loans than I had to deal with yeah. uh, 25 years ago. So, you know, this was a, a, a bill not to give relief. In other words, you still have to pay it back. It was a refinance bill. What's wrong with that? Well, because we're looking at $31 billion increase this year alone. <clears throat> and we're talking about young people who may not have a job. They may have a job. There's a, an increase in default of a lot of loans. That has happened the last three years. So you're looking at a lot of numbers that we're saying, is this going to be an actual good thing for our economy? Now, with all of that saying, there is, this is a crisis. This, I think it's a crisis. All of us have kids who are heading into college. You have kids in college. And when we were in school, it, the tuition was much lower than it is now. That's true. So um, the, the Republicans who have looked at this and who blocked it felt that it was not good for the economy. That's what they did. Is this politics? Well, of course it's politics. On both sides. On both sides, <laughs> but uh, it, of course it's politics. The, the president knows that the younger population, especially college students, helped him get elected. He knows his party is in trouble, and of course this is politics as it's best. Now, Mustafa, there's, there's other legislation pending in the Senate that would, uh, would help financial institutions uh, to a much greater extent than the, what this bill would have helped for students, right? Let me, let me first talk about this real quick. Um, this bill would help 25 million students, right? who have uh, uh, loans that are in excess of 7% to refinance it for what current market is, is, is 4%. And if they're in so default, it, it does, it's, they still have to pay it back. Still, they still have to pay it back. So th this is <coughs> something that would help real Americans, say, put money in their pocket and, and the Senate's blocking it. What the bill that they rather vote for, what you're talking about, is that taking corporate funds from uh, the profits from overseas, bringing it back into the United States, and rather paying the, the standard corporate tax of 40% uh, to pay 5% of that. So they'd rather you know, use political capital to pass the legislation that helps corporations, but not American and students. And that's got bipartisan support, but I'm gonna, I want you to talk about that when we come back, but I've got to go to Domley right now. All right, guys, yeah, I'm monitoring social media and I'm on social media, media and Domily Keith on social media says the president of the United States didn't pay off his student loans until he became president of the United oh, States. No. It can be tough to pay off student loans. Yeah. Well, look, you know, when yeah. I went to law school, I borrowed $15,000 to go through law school. Uh, five years ago, I hired a young man out of the same school that I went to, and his debt was $110,000. Uh, and so that's what you see in 25 years. The amount that it takes to get through these schools is is so much greater. And and for a young person with a family, this kid had uh, had kids and a wife, and he's got a hundred and ten thousand dollar debt. That's that's huge. It's yeah, and, it and he's he's a professional. He's got a, a job, but he still has trouble paying that. And especially when the <coughs> unemployment rate is 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 so cyclical, right. and it, it's it's difficult for these young people. And you've also to get got jobs. people going to schools that that turn out not to be very good schools, and they right. still build up this debt. They still owe the money. Right. And 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 Domily and both of, both you and Domily said uh, one of the things, uh, one of the points that the Republicans have been saying, they're saying look, we're not saying we don't want to help the students, but the, the 
problem of putting that kind of debt, that kind of those kind of dollars back into the economy, the economy may not be able to survive it. And that's been the problem. Mustafa, you and Mustafa brought up the, the corporation mm -hmm. because they felt that will be less of a burden on the taxpayer. But doesn't refinancing get the money coming back in, maybe at a slower rate, but it still gets the money coming back in, instead of people just defaulting and saying, I'm not doing it at all. Yes, but the, the percentage of people who are defaulting continues to rise. The percentage of people who are not paying continues to rise. And as you said, people are taking 15 to 20. Our president took forever to pay. Well, it took me 15 but, years. I don't feel but, bad about that. I mean, I paid it all. But look, th th this, is, this is clearly, the Republicans in the Senate are blocking a bill that would help million, 25 million Americans pay less interest. They're rather the interest going to the banks rather than the pockets of Americans. This is unconscionable. 30 seconds. $31 billion increase this year alone. This is not the answer to try to tackle that number. All right. But it's, but it's the beginning of a solution. All right. We're going to leave it right there. Uh, Domley, I'm, uh, I, I just uh, you completely lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> well, I, I like that gone. Mustafa I, I, said... It's a, blank in my <laughs> head. <laughs> I like that Mustafa said a beginning <coughs> of a solution. I like that. He should run for office. He should. <laughs> I'll vote no, for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, everyone, we are checking out the records for today, and so we've reached our low now at Bush Airport 74.